Hey what is going on this is Rob from Panther today we're going to check it out how to make twisted typography today we won't do the Mobius eye but we're going to do this that's a little bit more complicated I need, still need to figure it out so let's jump into this first first step let's go to new composition click on new comp I'm going to make the width 1080 1920 10 seconds black background click OK I'm gonna select the type tool type something in good select all I'm gonna recolor this to white I'm gonna press and hold all to double click on a pan behind so the anchor point is gonna be in the center I'm gonna press caps lock so it's deactivates you know the uppercase letters I'm gonna press the letter S to scale it down and I'm gonna position it to the to the center some like this okay now let's select D, a region of interest. And this way we're gonna highlight this area and we're gonna crop it out. So let's go to the composition and crop comp to region of interest. So right now it looks something like this. I'm gonna go to composition, composition settings. <clears throat> the height is 450. It's very important to select a pair number. So this is 450. You know, if you split this in half, it's going to be 225. It's easier like this. You know, if it happens that your number is not pair, you can adjust it however you like. And it's going to adjust, you know, the artboard also. So I'm going to go with 450. I'm going to right click here, go to new solid. I'm going to rename it as background. Click OK. I'm going to drag the background under the text. And I'm going to make here, I'm going to right click here, go to new composition. I'm going to rename this as 3D text. Click OK. And of course, I'm going to rename the original composition with the text. Text. Anyways, we're in the 3D text. I'm going to drag the text composition here. I'm going to activate the 3D here. And I'm going to press Ctrl D three times. So it's going to be four copies. I'm going to rename this as front, back, top, and bottom. From here, we're going to activate the custom view one from the active camera. So now we can see in perspective, this is the front. Now we're going to work with the back. Okay, so press the letter P. So it's going to highlight the position. So with this, we can position this all the way to the left. I'm going to type in here 450. And we're going to need to also split. By the way, that 450, if you remember that, the, and this was from the text composition, comp settings, you know, is the height. Here we are working in a square. So the height basically is, you know, all the way around and around like 450. And as you can see here, this is the 225, the split, you know, the half of the 450. So these numbers are going to be more repetitive here. Okay, next thing we're, we're going to need to flip this. So I'm going to click on the back and press the letter R to rotate. So we got the X rotation. We're going to need to rotate it 180 degrees. It's going to look something like this. Okay, now we're going to go to the top. We're going to press the letter R again for rotate, X rotate. And we're going to type in, I think, minus 90 degrees. And we're going to press the letter P to position. And if I move this up, it's going to decrease the number. So I'm going to go and type in zero. So this is this way it's going to go all the way to the top. As you can see, we're going to need to position all the way this way. And here we're going to need to type in 225. And now it went all the way where it needed to go. OK, now we're going to work with the bottom. Press the letter R for rotate, X rotate. And here, instead of minus 90, we're going to type plus 90. So just type in 90 degrees. Now we're going to press the letter P to position. And we're going to, and now we're going to modify the 225 again. We're going to type in 450 because it's going down. We're going to need to position this. We're going to type in here 225. And there you go. And we also can check the custom U from left. So as you can see, it's a perfect square. So I'm going to leave it like this right now. I'm going to right click here, go to new, go to null object. Now we create a null object. I'm going to pull this null object all the way up. We're going to activate the 3D in the null object. I'm going to select the from back top bottom and I'm going to select here the null one that we just created. So I'm going to select the null object and I'm going to zoom in 
and select this pen behind tool here. And now we're going to need to move this anchor point in the center. So I'm going to pull this uh, blue arrow and just pull here somewhere in the center. I don't know how to position exactly in the center, but this is somewhere in the center. I'm going to click on the null, press on R for rotation. And we're going to X rotate. From here, I'm going to activate the stopwatch and I'm going to pull this all the way to the end. And I'm going to type in here three and I'm going to click here, active camera. So now you see exactly like how it's rotating. I'm going to also need to change the composition size. So I'm going to go to the composition. I'm going to increase. Now I'm going to increase the height. So before that, when I was creating this three dimensional cube thing, the, you know, that 450 was very important. Now I can like increase the number. I got to go with some around 700. Click OK. So another thing, as you can see, everything is black and white, black and white. It's too monotone. So I'm going to type into the effects and preset tint. Drag the tint into the front and into the back. Okay, so I'm going to go, for example, for the front, swap color, back. It uh, swapped, for example, the top or bottom. From here, we're going to create a new camera. Click OK. Drag the camera on the top. From here, we're going to go to the camera settings, go to transform. We got the position and we're going to type it in here 10,000. So it goes all the way to the back and we're going to go to the camera options and we got here the zoom and we're going to type in 10, 200. So it, it can be like 10,200 or 10,100, something like that. As you can see, now it flipped upside down. So I'm going to need to rotate this. So we got the Z rotation. So as you can see, if I rotate it like this. So the main idea is to type in 180. So now it rotated back. All right, from here, I'm going to go to the project here and I'm going to right click, create a new composition and I'm going to type in twist. And I'm going to type in for the height 1080 by 1920. Click OK. And I'm going to drag in the 3D text. I'm going to right click here, go to new, select the solid. And I'm going to type in here displacement. Click OK. Let's go to the effects and presets. I'm going to type in gradient ramp. Drag the gradient ramp down in the displacement and I'm going to drag the displacement under the 3D text. Okay, so the main idea is to split, you know, the 1080 in two. So it's going to be like 540. 540 here and 540 here. And we're going to need to adjust this also in order to make it really smooth. I think it's going to be somewhere around 2000. I'm going to check it with 2000. And here I'm going to type in zero. Now we're going to search for time displacement. So go to effects and presets, type in time displacement and drag the time displacement on the 3D text. Okay, we're going to select the time displacement layer and click on displacement. So basically this is the displacement that we selected and go to the source in here and select effects and masks. As you can see, it starts to distort it. So the first second, you know, it's not that distorted, but if you, after you get into the second second, and there you go. Now you can see the full composition, you know, distorted. And of course you can also, also see the zigzags here and we're gonna need to make that more dense. So we get a time resolution FPS. We got on 60, increase it on 120. And I also gonna pull this to the first second and I gotta do the same thing in the nine seconds. I'm gonna pull it to the nine seconds. So yeah, this is how you make this twisting effect. Next time we're gonna do the Mobius side. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one, bye-bye.